Dave Dangle was supposed to log into his PlayStation and get set up for the game. We haven't seen him. Is he dodging better? I don't know what to say, boys. You better have a good reason for this one. Out front! Scores! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> trying to shake loose! Scores! Oh, oh my God. What is goodness. That? Oh, my. Welcome, everyone, to episode six of the Sportsnet Bracket Challenge powered by EA Sports NHL 20 and Sean only three episodes left to determine the winner of this entire thing. Yeah, Biz, we're getting closer and closer to finding out who will take home the $10,000 and get to donate it to a charity of their choice. Of course, a total of $50,000 on the line. All players who have lost thus far have received $2,500 for their charity. The winner, as I mentioned, gets $10,000. That money courtesy of Sportsnet, Sony, Midas, and Skip the Dishes. And so far, both Zach Aston Reese and Zach Wierenski's, the two Zachs, have made it to the semifinals. Today, Biz, we find out who joins them in the final four. Yeah, we got Aaron Ambrose taking on Evander Kane and then Jordan Binnington going against Steve Dangle. Yeah, that's right, Biz, but right now it seems like we can't find Steve Dangle. He's missing an action somewhere, but luckily for him, he has a few minutes. We head to commercial break. Hey, Jordan. Uh, Steve Dangle here. Man, I remember covering you with the Owen Sound attack. Look at you go. Um, I promise I'm not ducking you. The Sportsnet Bracket Challenge is played on EA Sports NHL 20. Stay safe and play together. Play like the pros. Check out the PS4 Competition Center for tips, tricks, and insider content. Visit compete.playstation.com. Welcome back, everyone, to the Sportsnet Bracket Challenge powered by EA Sports NHL 20. We wrap up another quarterfinal matchup, and this one was a fun one. It was Canadian national team member Aaron Ambrose, who's playing for Cam H, going up against the San Jose Sharks. Evander Kane, who's playing for the Hockey Diversity Alliance. Now, sorry, Evander, right from the get-go, this one was not pretty. It it appears that Aaron Ambrose continues to sandbag all of her opponents, acts like she doesn't really play the game, doesn't know how, and then goes out and scores goals immediately once the puck is dropped. Out front! Oh, wow! <laughs> Good start! Thank wow. you. This was a game that had a little bit of everything. Aaron Ambrose putting up nine goals. We saw a bit of a superstar tilt between Joe Thornton and Victor Hedman. So you got a little bit of everything, but it was Aaron Ambrose who put up a nine spot on Evander Kane. Congratulations to Aaron. You are moving on in the Sportsnet Bracket Challenge powered by EA Sports NHL 20. We got a big one on our hands. Jordan Bennington against Steve Dangle who upset Alex Debrinkit in the first round. And Sean, what do you think? I'm thinking I'm a little concerned right now because we're about 10 minutes past the deadline when Steve Dangle was supposed to log into his PlayStation and get set up for the game. We haven't seen him. We haven't heard from him. I'm concerned. Uh, he did leave us a video, and all I'm going to say, Steve, is you damn well better have a good reason for not showing up. Is he dodging better? Yeah. I don't know what to say, boys. You better have a good reason for this one. The Midas check-in. Because when you're ready... Your car should be too. Hey Jordan, uh, Steve Dangle here. Man, I remember covering you with the Owen Sound attack. Look at you go. Um, listen, I have to pull out of the game. I promise I'm not ducking you, although you definitely would have beaten me. I beat Alex Debrincat, but only just. He outshot me uh, 31 to 14. And as a goalie, I'm, I'm sure you know that feeling. Uh, Frederick Anderson was, was very upset with me. Uh, I got to duck out of the tournament, though, uh, because uh, unexpectedly early, my son Leo uh, decided to arrive, and we're already indoctrinating him. Uh, he's he's going to love dogs. He has, he has no choice. Um, but heard you got your hands full in the second round, and good luck the rest of the way. And uh, I, I would try to say something intimidating, like I was going to kick your butt, but I was not. I'm going to go burp him now. Guys, uh, I, I guess are we, I guess a legit reason? We're, we're fine with that? I mean, I guess this is the only thing he's pulling out of. Oh. <laughs> no, too much? <laughs> I, Paul, I am not even sure what to say to that. But that was, 
Just the right amount. <laughs> uh, Jordan, I mean, uh, congratulations to you. That's a nice little buy. Yeah, I'm going to take that one, fellas. And, uh, you know, I wish the best for him. Uh, I think that's a reasonable excuse. And uh, he's got a little, some bigger things on the agenda right now. But, uh, you know, what's going on now? Well, now that you're moving on, you're actually going to take on Zach Wierenski, who knocked off uh, one of your defensemen in Vince Dunn. So maybe a little retribution. Okay. Yeah, I see you. Uh, I heard this guy's pretty good, actually. It's filthy. Yeah. Just as good well. as on the ice. All right. Well, we'll see. Well, the good news for Jordan Bennington is that Steve Dangle had to pull out, and then he automatically gets a buy through. The bad news is he has to go up against Zach Wierenski, who is by far the favorite in this tournament. We'll see if Jordan Bennington can hold his own coming up. The Sportsnet Bracket Challenge is played on EA Sports NHL 20. Stay safe and play together. All right, folks, welcome back from break. This is the Sportsnet Bracket Challenge powered by EA Sports NHL 20, and we have finally hit the semifinals, and we got a big one on our hands, Sean. Jordan Bennington, who got a bye, Steve Dangle, who had a kid, congratulations to Steve Dangle, taking on the heavy, heavy favorite, Zach Wierenski. Yeah, I think it's fair to say that based on what we've seen so far throughout this bracket, that Zach Wierenski is the favorite, but we've seen what the St. Louis Blues can do when they're counted out. I'm going to give it to my boy Jordan Bennington right now. I have a lot of faith in you. Couldn't see an upset here. Sorry, Zach. No, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, guys, of course, uh, upset or not, uh, it's uh, all for fun and all for a great cause. There's $50,000 on the line. Uh, that's courtesy of Sportsnet, EA Sports, Sony, Midas, and Skip the Dishes. Whoever goes on to win will ultimately get to donate $10,000 to the charity of their choice. So remind us uh, the charity that you guys have chosen. Yeah, I've, uh, I've chosen the Columbus Blue Jacket Foundation. Um, you know, just been being in Columbus the last four seasons and hopefully many more for the Columbus Blue Jacket Foundation does great things around the city and um, and that's why I decided to go with them. Lovely. Jordan? Uh, for me, I chose uh, 360 Kids in Richmond Hill. Um, it's just aimed at assisting at-risk and homeless youth, uh, just giving people options and um, opportunity to continue to grow and uh, see what life's all about. Who's Hungry? Brought to you by Skip the Dishes. Get your game day feast delivered to your door. You deserve great delivery. Considering the fact that some of the money is coming from Skip the Dishes, I have to ask you guys, I know we've talked in the past about what your favorite pre-game meal is, but let's maybe go a little unhealthy. You want to have a full blowout. You want to order something that's maybe not pre-game, maybe post-game. You're trying to wind down a bit. What are you going to go with? Um, for me, I have a huge sweet tooth, so I'd probably go with something like brownies or something or cookies or... Something along those just lines. Just normal brownies, Zach? Just normal ones? <laughs> yeah, yeah, just normal ones. Okay. Well, if, if you swipe up on Biz's brand, he'll get you something a little <laughs> extra special. <laughs> but my jokes might be a little funnier, too. Oh, God, please no more <laughs> jokes, Biz. Jordan, uh, like, please start talking so Biz can stop. Uh, yeah, I'll take over here. Um, late night, um, you know, I, I like the uh, grilled cheese. Okay. With a side of side of pickle, <laughs> that's a, right. it's a solid choice. I can't what argue you, there. Typical what weirdo answer for a goaltender. I, yeah, perfect. I like the grilled cheese choice. The pickle side threw me for a bit of a loop, but hey, I like it. Uh, should we get this thing going, boys? Yes, we should. Zach, you were just co cool as a cucumber. Does anything rattle you? Um, just torts sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually looking at the defensive rating. He must be pumped about that. You guys have an 89 in this game. That's all he cares about. Yeah, it is. honestly, it's all he cares about. Just could, blocking shots. He wants to win one nothing every single game. <laughs> we, could win like, it, we could win like 7-4, and he'd be so mad after the game. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. This is a good start. 
No, I think it was, I, I think, you know, maybe I'm, I'm remembering this wrong, but I think there was a good torts quote I once heard that said something like, I love dogs more than humans. Like, I think he, he, he has a huge soft spot for animals, right, that maybe people don't know much about. Yeah, he, he I think he has or rescues dogs or um, maybe fosters them or something. But I know he's, he's, uh, he's huge in animals and dogs. And uh, bo Actually, both of our coaches are. Brad Shaw, who was in St. Louis for a while, uh, him and his wife do the same thing, and that's all they're talking about at the rink. At the rink. Does he bring him to the rink ever? No, he hasn't brought him to the rink yet. Didn't uh, didn't you just get a new puppy when this quarantine yeah. started? Yeah, it was a perfect time for it. So I got a I got a golden doodle. Oh wow! Oh nice. nice. Those are hypoallergenic, correct? Yeah, that's why I got it. <laughs> that's uh, Bisno, that's the Bisno smartest word I've ever about said. Everything. <laughs> You, na That's you nailed the smartest it too. thing I've ever said. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Good seeing you. <laughs> I'll take it from here, Biz. Yeah. Finish hot. Hey. Uh, so, have you potty trained it yet? Yeah. It was potty trained like the first three days. It was. It was really good puppy. Yeah. It started sleeping all night for like ten hours when he was like three days in. It was potty trained pretty much like the first week. Um, really wow. chill dog. What'd you name it? Bo. I had a teammate once who uh, named it Andy Mealy uh, Holby because he won oh, the yeah. Baker. He's from my hometown. <laughs> no way. Yeah, Good guy. Great player, right. too. Yeah, so skilled. I got, uh, I got a French bulldog that's perfectly potty trained. Yeah, no one but cares. <laughs> Thanks, Biz. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm myself. kidding. No, He's a cutie. Biz, uh, He's hey, Biz, you. You're using smart words now. I'm just going to leave you here to host this whole thing. <laughs> Good luck on your promo reads, man. Oh, no, I was going to say... Do you have a dog? No, no dog. Oh. Oh. Actually, Sean, you do have one of the cuter dogs I've ever seen. No, he's I, I, I was, famous. I, I was going to say, the uh, he's perfectly potty trained, but if I leave him for more than two hours, he's just like a little... <laughs> he goes and pees on my pillow. Oh, okay. <laughs> Nice. Like just, I, I, I think he, j and then he just stares at me. Like, what are you gonna do about it? See, boys, he's he's good. You can tell. You can tell. First couple. He of plays shifts. a mean game. What's the game plan here for Lorensky, or, or or do you not even have one? Uh, he seems like a. <laughs> I don't have one. No, you go ahead. What about you, Benner? Uh you know I'm a defense first type of guy. But, you know, that cheat, uh, the backdoor goal he got, you know, it's, it's all right, but it's kind of just a, a cheat in the game. So <laughs> we'll see if he, see what else he has. I actually hate shooting the puck in this game, if that makes any sense. Like, I'd rather hang on to it and try and make a play. Like that? Like, oh. Woo. Yeah, like, like kind of hold on to it and try and, like, look for something. Benner had, Benner had his jock in the corner Can't even get in the there. zone. Could put it in the empty net. Oh yeah. Oh, oh my God. Urban copy. This is gonna be a. <laughs> all right, I gotta refocus here. I'm thinking we refilm the intro when I threw all my support behind Binner. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what you're doing there. How man. many more in the first till you pull your goalie, Binner? Oh, it's gonna take a lot. <laughs> it's gonna take a lot. <laughs> Jostling for the puck and it's knocked away. The Blue Jackets trying to shake loose. Oh, oh my God. God. What is that? Oh, my. Is it a five mercy that. rule here? Or? Right in the slot. Oh, oh, my goodness. Oh. It's a bloodbath. Is he doing this every other game? Or, yeah, uh, for the most part. Okay. Normally he plays around the perimeter a little more. I think that like it must be something with the St. Louis guys in particular that he hates. So I don't, I don't know. That's just me, though. I don't. You'd have to ask him. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Oh, I Honestly, I think it's because it's on pro. Oh. So much easier to score when it's on pro. Here, here we go. Oh, you know what? <laughs> oh, that was, oh. <laughs> oh, that was gonna, assault. That's a 10-gamer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? <laughs> oh, it was, it was Dunner coming for you from last game. Yeah. At this point of the game, I like that, Jordan. Yeah, we gotta change something yeah. up here. Do something to get the boys going. And there's one guy who can get it done, Ryan O'Reilly. He is all man. Does he ever no. serenade you guys with the guitar? 
Oh yeah, on the bus sometimes. Play Wonderwall. If we're on, if we're on like a, a long roadie and we're on another bus ride, one of those, he'll he'll whip it out and play some tunes. He's come up. Don't with. tell me he can sing too. I mean, he, he sings. Oh, I save. Oh, big save. Some guys get it all. It's a game changer. It's not fair. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think since we're on the topic of guys that are pretty talented, pretty rugged guys, I think we have a message, uh, Jordan, from a friend of yours. Okay, Banner, let's go. Seriously, it's about time. Uh, we need you to uh, rally. We need you to get going here. And uh, I can't wait for you to advance to the next round. And I can't wait to see you play in this year's playoffs because uh, maybe this year will be the first year you can actually grow a beard. <laughs> Had a boy, son. I think it seems unfair for John Hamm to be telling other guys about growing a beard because that guy's got one of the best. Yeah, true. It's just great jawline, perfect beard. That's Who's going right. to tell him that you're going to get smoked here? Let him down. How, uh, how cool is it to have a... Oh. So I know we see a lot of uh, like the Kings and all the kind of the, all the Rangers. They get all the celebrities, but how cool is it to have a guy like John Hamm kind of be such a super fan? Because that's you know he just doesn't do it for a show. He's a he's a diehard. Yeah, it's cool having him around, man. Um, I got to know him a little bit last year through the playoffs, and um, I think my mom was more excited than I was. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's uh, he's been great boys get love him and when he comes to town we'll go grab a beer grab some food and um, yeah it's good good to have around good for morale good for morale do you ever ask him about any acting tips because I know that you, I, I, I could see you maybe getting into at least broadcasting maybe even acting when you're done playing Bennington oh, I yeah I, I enjoy it but uh, give me one <laughs> uh no, I actually do enjoy it, but we haven't really discussed that. I, I talked to him a little bit about uh, Larry David because I'm really a big fan of Larry David, and um, he's been out. Uh, uh, I don't know if he's golfed, but he hangs with him a little bit, and he has nothing but good things to say about him, so I was pretty excited about that. Zach, uh, what shows are you into? Are you a big curb guy? No, i got to start that. I've heard nothing but good things about it. I haven't wa I've oh. seen episodes, but I haven't watched it start to finish, so i got to do that. I don't really watch many shows. Well, you're a big uh, you're a big gamer. You play other games like COD. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was I was into Fortnite for a while, but I haven't played that. Um, for me, when I'm in Columbus and all my friends get online and play Call, Call of Duty or Fortnite or whatever, I like hopping on with them, hanging out, playing games. So, Benny, you said you're a, a big curb guy. So, were you a Seinfeld fan as well? No, I. I wasn't, uh, I've seen episodes kind of like Zach there, but I wasn't that into it until I, I just started from scratch with Curb, first season, moved forward, and it was amazing. So, you're in for a treat if you're going to actually watch it. you got to be an awesome, uh, Office fan as well, and uh, I believe Pam, Pam's a Blue Super fan as well. Oh yeah, she is. Yeah, I got to meet her at the All-Star game this year. Uh, holy oh. boys. She, uh, yeah, it was really cool meeting her. She's hilarious, too. You guys are just distracting me the whole time. <laughs> game, folks. Game. <laughs> okay, we'll talk to Zach for the last few minutes and see what you can muster up here. <laughs> yeah. 15 minutes. Hey, Biz, what shows are you watching? Have you cried at altitude lately? Um, what have I, oh, jeez, what have I cried to recently? Great question. Um, I will segment. say I, I've been watching Stranger Things. I'm having a hard time getting over the hump of season two, but I heard it's worth it because season three is great. Now, yes. speaking of getting over the hump of season two, Ozark. Season three was incredible. And I, so good. I got ripped online for saying that I believe it's on trajectory to be just as good as Breaking Bad. And I got scolded. Yeah. No way. Yeah, you caused storm like you really really stirred it up with that and i th i think that that it's been i think the acting is a little bit more superior than breaking bad i think that it, it's going to take a lot in order to 
get as good as Breaking Bad, just given the fact that it kept progressively getting better and better, and the way that it all ended and got tied together was... I mean, Breaking Bad's iconic, right? Oh, it's going to be one of the best. Yep. There Congratulations. There we go. There we go. Yep. There it is. That's all my, I needed. My uh, TV show talk put Zach to sleep <laughs> for, for a brief amount of time. Zach actually George... left. <laughs> oh, what did he? Zach just left. Zach oh. is sick of hearing you talk about it, so he just took off. <laughs> I'm like giving a thesis on, on all these television shows. I'm like, well, actually. Oh, no, I think... I think they I think save. there's two levels of TV shows. There's elite shows and great shows, and I think Ozark's the great show, but I think Breaking Bad's elite. Fair enough. I think it's up there with Sopranos, The Wire, Game of Thrones. Sopranos is one that I've I've have not dived into. And oh, I need it's to. that and The Wire are a little bit more old school, but so good. Oh, no chance, buddy. <laughs> I wanted that one. I know you did. Oh, my. That's my own goal. Was that Wierenski on I, Bennington? Yeah, I, c I couldn't no. go by him. Not that one, but the shot. No. Oh. Let's shot talk before. about that honey badger, Atkinson. <laughs> what about him? That guy is just a machine out there. Goal scoring yeah. machine. It's, a, it's actually insane. It's just like The puck finds him in scoring areas, and it's, it's incredible to watch. The year he scored 41 with Breadman was, it was so much fun to see those two play together. It's such a nice, well-liked guy, too. Yeah, he's awesome. Everyone loves Cam. I know him and Torts are uh, big into supporting the military, right? They have a yep. foundation, I believe. Yeah, Cam has the, the, the Force Network Fund, I think it's called. That's um, it, yep. And uh, I think he's got family or brothers or something like that in the military, and he has a... He does awesome work for, for that foundation, and obviously Torts with his son. Uh, he's, yep. he's big supporting it, too. Maybe a hook or something? Or no? <laughs> I think he could have bought one there. Bitter, what's your favorite road arena to play in? Uh, you know what? Vegas, I haven't, I've only played there once, but that was pretty awesome. Um, you guys had a barn burner yeah, there last year. Didn't you guys have a comeback? That was like this season right right now? I I, I don't know if it was this, this season or last season where you guys had a crazy game in Vegas. I remember following the box score. I want to say it was 6-5. Yeah. yeah, there was one this year that was 6-5 OT. It was back and forth. It was a good game, good entertainment. Uh, but they won that oh, one. Oh, sorry. Oh, good job, Biss. <laughs> That's all right. Uh, what about modern goaltenders that you look up to? Like, who are some of your favorite guys to follow? Uh, I was actually a pretty big Pecorine fan uh, early on. And uh, Cujo was big, being from Toronto and watching him, following him. If that's modern for you. <laughs> oh. I don't even know how to do that. Zach's just, like, Zach is not letting off the gas here at all for you. I'm getting ready for the finals. <laughs> oh, let's do it. I'm, let's next, do it. next goal wins. Oh. oh. No way he buries. Oh. No. That's good D by Tomer. Well, it was a pleasure, fellas. That was great. Uh, a lot of fun playing. Oh, oh that count. <laughs> no. That's Did that it. count? No. No. Nope. Too little, too late. Bitter. No review. Um, I thought you were going to put up a bigger fight, buddy. But nonetheless, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, best of luck uh, when you guys get the reboot going here. And uh, Zach, that was uh, that was quite the performance, man. And I still think you're the front runner for this thing. This key moment is brought to you by PlayStation, the best place to play. Columbus has it in the open. Can't even get in the zone. Here's a short pass to Nash. Whoa, oh, oh, oh my God, this is gonna be a. <laughs> all right, I gotta refocus here. I'm thinking we refilm the intro when I threw all my support behind Benner. <laughs> So we just witnessed Jordan Bennington get absolutely dismantled by Zach Wierenski as he continues to prove why he is by far the favorite to win this whole thing. But 
soon we get to find out who he will go up against. It is Zach Aston Reese going up against Aaron Ambrose with a chance to play Zach Wierenski on the line. And that pretty much does it for this episode of uh, the Sportsnet Bracket Challenge powered by EA Sports NHL 20. What do you think, Sean? I think that uh, does it. Can I get one more power with a little more emphasis, though? Power! Thank you.